so uh, I just did my first titration. I've put those things aside. I've taken off my goggles, and now uh, I'm going to graph it. And so I'm doing calculate concentration of unknown assets, graphing using Excel. I'm going to graph it before I do my next two. When I'm graphing using Excel, I want to graph each set of data in Excel with total milliliters added. I've got my total milliliters added here in this column on the left. I've got my pH on the right. And, um, and what I'm going to do, we've made graphs before, but I'll just show you how to do it. You want to click and drag over all of your data and then go to insert menu and then right underneath where my thing is here oh, floating away is the chart you want to chart and do uh, xy scatter and there's the graph let's see if i can fit this graph and uh, I want to talk about it. And I, I went ahead and graphed mine before. Um, so uh, here's what you're going to do. Graphically determine the equivalence point. The equivalence point is the point on the graph where the slope is the steepest. The part of the graph where the slope is the steepest is right here for mine. And what I'm going to notice about this is I don't have a point where right in here. So I'm going to take this point, which is... Uh, tell me which point you are, please. 10, and this point, which is 11, and actually uh, I, I, I'm I going to guess that my equivalence point is 10.5 because this is the steepest part. We don't look at this point right here. Uh, we uh, don't talk about what's happening here. There is a, a, a steep increase right here, but again, that's that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the steep part uh, after about 5 or 10 milliliters. Uh, and for more information about why that is, go ahead and look at taking chem uh, for the second semester general chemistry uh, because we go into that in detail there. But your equivalence point is going to be right here. And so I'm glad I graphed this before I did my other ones because I'm going to now uh, realize that when I get to about nine or eight milliliters, that's when I'm going to start going slowly because uh, I want points right in here uh, so that um, I like, so these points are all after the equivalence point. I want points right in here so I can accurately determine where's my steepest point. Now for your graph, you're going to put a nice title, milliliters here, uh, or sorry, milliliters of uh, sodium carbonate solution down here on the x-axis, pH on the y-axis, and then this graph will be good to turn in. All right, so uh, now I'm going to do my second trial, and I'm going to do points uh, from about 9.9 .9 milliliters out to about 12 milliliters. I'm going to do half milliliters next time.